Welcome to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast, where we share tips, techniques, and true stories to support you in using the law of attraction and alchemy to create magic and live the life of your dreams. Here's your host, the founder of DailyAlchemy.com, Michelle Martin Dobbins. Hey there, it is Michelle Martin Dobbins from DailyAlchemy.com, and today in my world is... True Story Tuesday, and you may or may not be listening to this on a Tuesday, but I am recording on a Tuesday, so I like to occasionally share with you true stories that happen to me or my family or people that I know that I have permission to share their stories with, (laughs) and so today I wanted to share with you a story of a couple of cool things that happened, some neat little manifestations while we were recently on a trip. For my youngest daughter's 11th birthday, we went to the Great Wolf Lodge in Charlotte, North Carolina. And um, if you're not familiar with it, it's like crazy kid heaven. It is a lodge hotel that has an indoor water park and an arcade and a bowling alley and video games and this this crazy thing called Magi Quest where your kids are running around with wands playing this game completing quests as wizards gosh like what else all kinds of craziness in there crazy kid goodness like i don't know that anyone would ever go there without a child <laughs> Like, I will go to Disney World without children. Shh, don't tell my children. But this place, not so much. But it's a really fun time for kids. So these are really manifestations of my children and some cool things that happened to them at the Great Wolf Lodge. And I do have permission to tell these stories. So we went to the lodge and... We've been there several times through the years, but we hadn't been for a few years. And I may, no, I'm not going to backtrack. Um, Okay, maybe I will. (laughs) I love to travel. I either like love to be at home or I love to be traveling. I guess maybe a lot of people are that way. Like when I'm home, I just want to be home (laughs) because I drive people so many places and I'd I'd just rather be in my house. But when I'm traveling, I just love it. And, um, but I had some old sticky stories about traveling for many years and just crazy things would happen when we traveled and not, not like crazy good, like getting trapped in elevators for over at, for hours and getting, having fire alarms going off in our hotel rooms, just, you know, losing my kids in a uh, wild water rapids and uh, the Bahamas. I mean, you know, but I have really worked on that in two ways. And so if you have a part of your life that is sticky, I'm going off on this little tangent before I tell you the true story that gives you something that you can do. And one way was just to like acknowledge that there was some old stuff there. And actually I did some meditation, some releasing, and you know, whether or not you believe in past lives or parallel lives or what have you, I didn't really have any main reason that in this life traveling would be kooky. Like nothing crazy happened in my childhood that I can remember, except for that we just didn't do a lot of it and I really wanted to. Although I do admit that I may have some sticky stories about like not deserving to go on trips. And so then I may be sabotaging them. So I really just did a lot of meditation around letting go of those old stories and also just like asking my higher self and any of my spirit guides to help me to release any old karmic stories about travel being dangerous, travel not working out for me, and those kind of things. And so that was the first part. The first part was like acknowledging and releasing and letting go of old stories around travel, even if I didn't know where they began. And then the second part was setting intentions for travel. 
before I went there, I would write out, I mean, it's, it's a habit of mine now to write out a list of what I want to happen while I'm on a trip. And, you know, I leave it open for a lot of magical fun experiences. Actually, I put magical fun experiences on my trip list. And I don't even know if I've, I don't think I have done a podcast about our trip to California and some of the crazy, amazing things that happened there. So I probably should do that too. But yeah, I do that. And then while I'm on the trip, I'm on the lookout and I'm also usually playing some kind of mental game, which is great to play on any, any day, but it's somehow it seems easier for me to kind of get into this mental game when I'm traveling of like, and what else is wonderful? Like, this is wonderful. I'm on vacation. This is wonderful. Breakfast was amazing. That was the best waffle I've ever had. And what else? And what else? And what else? And what else? And so I'm just focusing, focusing, focusing on what's good whenever um, I travel. And I set those intentions before I leave, write that list before I leave. And then while I'm doing it, I'm, I'm looking for what's good. Very, very focused. And it works well for me. Um, So if you have an area of life that, you know, things tend to go wonky in, be it travel like me, be it finances, be it work situations, be it, um, I'm trying to think of something that's like not necessarily an everyday thing, family get togethers, um, that could entail traveling or not, I suppose. But if you have sticky stuff around that and you know if you do right because it always goes wrong and you you're just intent you you intend for it to always go wrong you don't you don't want it to but you get stuck in that don't want it to like that was me like I I want this trip to be perfect I don't want it to go wrong I don't want it to go wrong and then things would inevitably go wrong but I have since shifted them and now we have really really nice times and um Even if something little goes wrong, I don't let it uh, rule the day. So, back to the Great Wolf Lodge. Um, I will share a little bit of this story. My husband likes, he likes the arcade. (laughs) The kid in him comes out when we go to arcades, but my husband did not come on this trip. So normally if we go to an arcade, my kids have, they have in their mind that they're going to get something good from the arcade store. And if you're not a parent or you don't live around this culture, like the arcade, you win tickets. It's like, uh, I've had a friend say it, they're like training them for adult gambling, but you win tickets from the games that you play. You know, like uh, some of them are just like where you like hit a ball and see how far it goes, or you spin something and whatever amount of tickets it lands on, you win. And then there are ones like uh, where you roll the ball and you have to get it in the hole where there's a little bit of more skill than just luck involved. So most of these arcade games, you win a certain amount of tickets. And some of them have the jackpot. And my husband loves to play them. So when we go there with him anywhere that has an arcade, he's going to like spend some money and just win a ton of tickets. And my kids will get to spend them because, you know, there's nothing that you trade your tickets in for an arcade that my husband's going to want. Um, you know, it's little stuffed animals, toys. And, you know, like if you only have a few tickets, like, you know, you can get a little Tootsie Roll or a little pack of Smarties candies or something. <laughs> and so my kids have been spoiled because their dad loves to play the games and win tickets, which he then shares with them, gives to them. So I had to let my kids know, okay. And we're traveling actually with some relatives. And so we had two other children with us besides my four. And usually my oldest, who is 17, she likes to play, but she doesn't usually uh, partake in the purchasing of things from the tickets because she's of that age too, or it doesn't give her much of a thrill anymore. So I told them, you know, like they had gotten with this special pass that we had bought for my daughter's birthday, they got a free $5 card for the arcade. And if you've been around these things, you know that a $5 card for the arcade is not much. (laughs) You can play like two and a half games. A lot of the games in this arcade were like $2. So a $5 card was not a lot. So I was like, look, you've done other things. You've been swimming. You've gotten these stuffed animals and bracelets and different things with your pass. 
So don't expect to like buy anything grand. Like this is going to be a Tootsie Roll day because I'm not, we're not going to spend a lot of time here. We're not going to spend any extra money here. Like that is what you get your $5 card. And you know, they were fine with it, but so they played their games and my son played this one game and got like a few tickets and it was something where you drop like a big ball uh, you push a button and the ball drops inside the machine and like where it lands. And so they're all pretty much finishing up and like, you know, maybe they've got 20 tickets or something very small. You know, they're, they're looking at a Tootsie Roll, okay? They're hoping they have enough tickets for a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> but they're all kind of good and smiling and they're excited because when we get done here, we're going to the water park and we're just going to like swim until everybody drops. So. My one daughter, after my son had played this ball game and got a few tickets, she was sitting there. She kind of leaned up against the thing, the game. And when she did, tickets started spitting out. Yes, they started flying out of the machine. And so we're like looking up and the jackpot is like 2,700 tickets and the tickets are just coming and coming. So we think... She's won the jackpot, but she didn't even put any money in it. She just leaned up against it after her brother did it. But I'm like, okay, gift from the universe here for you guys. And so the tickets keep coming, keep coming. And my cousin and I, we're the adults, we're feeding the tickets to the machine that counts them and puts them on the card. And the tickets keep coming, keep coming. And I'm probably going to post a picture of some of my kids like just like going crazy with tickets everywhere I really I took like one picture and uh, I probably should have taken more because it was crazy the amount of tickets so when all was said and done the machine had emptied itself and um, we had like 10,500 tickets I mean, it was just like crazy so They're very excited. And my daughter, who's 17, who's normally like, "Eh, I don't, you know, you guys, she's like, no, I'm in this one. I'm in this one. I want my cut of tickets. So they did the, um, we had this really nice gentleman bless the people who work at the arcade where children cash in these tickets because they never know what they want to get. And they're always like spending down to the very last ticket, you know, and you must have the patience of Job. (laughs) And this man, he was amazingly patient. He was like, okay, let's just, because we said, here's all our tickets. And it was 10,500 and some. And he was like, well, let's split it between, we want to split it equally six ways. So he made up a little sheet so they could all keep track of what they had bought. And then he would put it in the little main computer, which takes off the tickets each thing that they buy you kind of scan it in and it takes off that amount of tickets but he did it separately also on a sheet of paper so that they could each get an equal amount of tickets and um this is where it gets really fun because the kids were so excited that they got all these tickets which was just crazy like even with my husband playing and spending like 50 or 60 bucks they would not get near this many tickets so they're all excited because they can all like buy something pretty big, like a nice big stuffed animal or different things. But my oldest who's 17, she's like, I'm going to go last. And I'm like, okay. She says, I'm buying these headphones. And she's quite um, the manifester. And she, she knows these spiritual principles. And she's very steadfast in what she chooses to create in her life. So she's like, I'm getting those headphones. And I'm like, those headphones are 3,000 tickets. You're not going to be able to get those headphones. She said, yeah, I'm going to wait till I'm last. And if everybody else has went and got their stuff, when they've got their stuff, I'm going to get those. And I'm like, okay, all five of the other ones are younger children. They're not saving you any points, honey. They're going to use down to their last little point. And there's not going to be enough. And she's like, do not tell me there's not going to be enough. I know that there is. There will be plenty for me to get my headphones. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm not going to argue, no, whatever. So the other five get their stuff and he's scanning it and he's writing it down. Everybody else is content. They've spent their seventeen fifty, And lo and behold, my daughter says, okay, I'm getting my headphones. And I look up on the big screen where he's done the main taking of the tickets away. And there's like 4,000 some odd tickets left. And 
you know, I'm not a math whiz, um, but that math doesn't add up, <laughs> you know, because there should have been 1750 left with all the ones that the other ones spent. And I'm like, did you maybe forget to put some stuff in? I didn't want him to get in any trouble. He's like, no, I seriously, I scanned everything. And so at this point in time, my daughter's like, like looking at me, like, don't mess up my mojo here. And I'm like, okay. He's like, nope, I scanned in everything and there's still 4,000 tickets left. And so she got her headphones, which was like a big prize. And the manager of the the thing had to come down and bring it. And then also she got some other little stuff. Actually, I think she got for some of the other kids, but she declared that it was going to be there. And I still like, I'm like, yeah, that math doesn't add up. And she tells me that, you know, (laughs) don't you teach people that, you know, sometimes the math doesn't add up. It's kind of like, um, if you guys are familiar with Jeanette Ma, the good vibe coach and how she talks about, um, she started getting these extra deposits in her bank statement and she doesn't know where they came from. And she's thinking the bank is making a mistake and she's telling them and they're like telling her that they can, they have someone who can teach her how to balance her checkbook. And she, she actually was a financial planner for a living before she became the good vibe coach. She's like, I I know how to do that. Um, you know, I have a degree, I've worked in this field, I know how to manage it. And there's money that she said, she saved it, set it aside for a year, all this extra money. And then she said, you know, she just came to, except that the universe was giving her extra money and um, let it go and didn't worry about it and just probably started to expect it every month. And knowing her, I'm pretty sure it probably still comes every month in her bank account. But it was just, it was really fun to see all the abundance that they let in their life. Just, I think just because they, A, didn't need it. You know, they were used to getting abundance when they went to the arcade. But, you know, I had told them, you know, that they they weren't going to spend any money. So whatever they came up with, they were coming up with on their own. But they were just already in that place of abundance. They had, they were at one of their favorite places doing all kinds of fun stuff. And so they were just kind of able to open up and let in even more abundance. As the saying goes, the rich get richer. And they were in childhood richdom this weekend. So that was our fun little true story manifesting Great Wolf Lodge. Also, another um, one of the children with us, not one of my children, had gotten a wand. And so she got the wand that came with the package, which was brown. And... He had to pay to upgrade to like a pink or a blue or a different wand. And her mom's like, you know, the brown is cool. We're not going to pay to upgrade. And she wanted the pink, but she was like, you know what? I'm happy. I'll just do the brown. And then she lost her wand. But this little trooper did not. She was like, you know what? I'll just share, you know, one of my daughters like, we'll do it together. And we'll share and we'll take turns with the wand and it'll be fine. And no upset, no tears, no crying, no craziness. And we decided to go check, though, the lost and found and see if her wand was there. And Lily is like, you know, it's not. But there's this pink one that's been here for months and no one ever came to claim it. So she can have it. And I'll go ahead and transfer over and put her game data on this wand. And so she got her pink wand. And once again, I think part of the reason maybe she got that pink wand was because she didn't need to have it. You know, when we just dying for something and we need to have it, it makes it so much harder to get it in our grasp. But when you just relax and go with the flow and enjoy what is, sometimes those things that we want come to us that much easier. So that is my um, true life story for today. I have a I have a few others that I do really want to share with you guys soon. So in the next couple weeks, if you like those, keep an eye out because um, I will share a few from our California trip if I haven't already. And um, a couple others that are really out there if I can get permission. (laughs) All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Go out and create some magic in the world today and i will talk to you next time namaste and big hugs would you like some help creating more magic in your life i've got a ton of freebies and goodies for you they're all tucked away inside my magical freebie vault 
You can get free access, though. You just have to go to www.dailyalchemy.com forward slash magical dash freebie dash vault. Again, that's dailyalchemy.com forward slash magical dash freebie dash vault. And when you get there, you can just plug in your name and email and you will get instant access to all kinds of goodies. There are daily and weekly manifesting planners, the how to shift your vibe in five minutes e-kit that has audios and a workbook. There are moon manifesting planners and daily love lists and money trackers and all kinds of goodies right there. I didn't want to make you have to go to a bunch of different pages and sites and wait for certain freebies to come out. So I just took all of my freebies and put them in one place where you could just sign up one time and download any of them that you want at any time that you needed. So you can just head on over to dailyalchemy.com forward slash magical dash freebie dash vault and download them today. Have a magical day. Thanks for listening to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast. Connect with me on the dailyalchemy.com or Facebook at facebook.com slash Michelle Dobbins author. Join us next time for even more magical life tips.